I'm excited. I'm excited for this because it's like the perfect day to have a soup. Sunday morning. Is it morning still? Yes, it is. It's like a little after 11. We just got home. Um, Sammy wanted to go get breakfast out, so we got her some breakfast. I had to drop some packages off at UPS. And then I went to Costco. We just got home. I'm holding the little guy. Ooh. Little purple. Sammy was holding him yesterday, and he likes to nibble. I guess because she puts her hands near his mouth, so that's why. But uh, they just got a penny in the oven. She put that in a while ago. What time did you put the penny in? I uh, went in at uh, 8 o'clock. It's coming out at 3.30. Coming out at 3.30. She's got it on 2.65. Dogs go crazy when we get home. All right, so before... Ooh, there's the mailman. Why it's a so Sunday. Early? Sunday. I guess just extra oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, wait, why is he even Right? So, uh, before I get to work on the computer, Dana had put together one of the, uh, I guess the extra parts for the cages. She's going to try and, you know, uh, get the piggies to meet. Uh, in the meantime, I bought a whole bunch of uh, eggs today. She's going to make hard boiled eggs. She's also going to make um, these wraps with egg. Also, she's making uh, pasta salad. She's making it now so that all the flavors can marry. Um, just great little car pasta, mm, marinated artichoke hearts, mushrooms, and then some some other stuff. What else? It's I'm going to make with a homemade Italian dressing to go over it. There you go. Uh, I know we've said this before, but we really, really, really have to get back on the on Leave the swing the of things. Leave the camera in the kitchen because if you put it on that table, it's just gonna stay on that table for real. There you go. I'm gonna leave her within your reach. I'm gonna leave you within her reach. Why did you say you're gonna leave that within my reach? I think I flipped it around. Anyway. See, look at my shirt. It's the first time I'm wearing it. It says sous chef, and then it's got the definitions and stuff. It's really nice. It's a really nice shirt. It's nice and thick, and it's soft. I guess I'm a right. shirt yeah, fabric yeah, snob. Yeah. Thanks, Lisa. All right, so Dana just drained the uh, pasta, and then yeah, she's yeah. got to put it all together. You know, pasta, salad, it's just, we use different noodles. So since we had gotten the little one, this is their first introduction. You know, there's a little bit of uh, no teeth chattering. Nope. Uh, Melvin nope. was, uh, he wasn't even rumbling. He was just no, purring. He's just purring. I mean, this little guy over here, he was already cleaning himself a little bit ago. I mean, things seem to be calm right now. Yeah, and they and usually let out a weird scent when you put boys together because they're, it's like to show who's, who's bigger, like who's boss. And Melvin hasn't done that. Which is crazy. I think he, it's because he's a baby. He's a baby. He knows he's a baby. But every day, they're going to get some playtime together. Yep. And eventually, hopefully, you know, they'll live together. live together. All right, so this is what's for lunch today. Dan is actually over there struggling with the pickled... Oh, there, there she goes. She's not struggling anymore. Um, yeah. These are actually um, wraps out of a cookbook. It's actually made from eggs. Maria Emmerich's cookbook. There you go. And it's kind of like a, uh, a club. Some bacon, some turkey, some ham, some cheese, and a pile of pork rinds. I got a big box of fucking pork rinds. Pile of shit. Look, that's a big ass bag. Bag, box. Holy shit, big box. It's full of pork rinds. You are definitely. Shut up. You need to go back. To right school. there. And then um, there's my romance novel. I almost forgot to show you. I haven't started started eating yet. Um. I don't know. Do you guys remember when I said that Dana was making penny? Yeah. Ma'am, I should... No. Okay. Enter in 
the clip here off of Instagram stories, like here. And you can see what the Benny looks like before Dana cut into it. I swear you're saying Benny. Penny. Penny. So there it is. Here's our pasta salad and just a regular salad. Yep. Dude. Oh, doesn't sound. Damn it. It is crunchy, I swear. Oh my god, you're so awkward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's some real Puerto Rican shit right there. Mm. So good. Good morning. So I just got finished giving Samantha breakfast. Austin's eating now. She's got school earlier today. Um, it's virtual, but they log on earlier now after the break. So these guys are eating their breakfast. There's Melvin. There's the girls. Paulie's up there. Vinny just came down. And then little Raymond. He's in there eating. So everybody's eating. I'm going to have breakfast. Now, um, not breakfast, I'm going to have coffee right now, and then I'm going to make a protein shake to go with my coffee. Want to keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together, not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. I try to hold it together. All right, we've together, got we've got stuff happening here. Arlo is going to be juicing lemons and limes for me because I need them. I have ginger in here. Um, we're making immunity shots. Uh, anything to boost your immunity up during these times. Crazy times. Um, we are using also this elderberry syr syrup kit. We get this from Butter and Sass on Instagram. If you're interested, there is... Wait, hold on. Can you see it? it she's got an Etsy shop. Oh, there it is, right there. Arlo, so, link the Etsy shop. Though. All right, yeah, Arlo, link the Etsy shop. But here it is. We've used this before, so I'm going to make that back there. We'll be taking both of these daily. Um, inside this pan here, I've got some, a little bit of onion, there's some roasted garlic, and then some garlic butter in there, a poached garlic and garlic butter. So I'm just sweating out these onions. I'm making a breakfast. Uh, bacon and egg, well, it's a breakfast ramen, so it's going to have a soft-boiled egg on top, a little bit of crunchy bacon as well. I'm going to make it with some shirataki. This is Maria Emmerich's recipe that I'm following right here. It's online, available if you want to make it, so just look up breakfast ramen Maria Emmerich, and that's what's going on right now. Uh, a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot. Okay, so, so far this is what it's looking like. I tasted the broth and it tastes so damn good. So I'm cooking it for a little bit. This is the, I added the turmeric to that and then the elderberry is back here. They both have to cook for a half an hour. Sorry if I'm fogging you up. I'm excited. I'm excited for this because it's like the perfect day to have a soup. Here is our soup. Soft boiled eggs, bacon, and then that's the ramen. And then this is Maria Emmerich. Like I said, it's the it's online, so you can look for it. And then just some like lettuce, boat, whatever, sandwiches. That's gonna be lunch. Okay, so here are the immunity shots down here. And this is lemon, lime, there's turmeric, cayenne pepper. I sweetened it with a little bit of mango skinny syrup and um, yeah so these three down here are the immunity boosters and then up here are the elderberry shots that we're gonna take so each day the two of us are gonna take two tablespoons of this two tablespoons of that All right so the same day <laughs> see same shirt but I'm eating there I am I'm having dinner. I'm having the leftover pork from last night with a little bit of, this is like my favorite condiment lately. It is the Kraft Chipotle aioli. It's really good. I love it. And then I'm having a little bit of that pasta salad from last night. I took the last piece of crunchy chicharron. And I'm having a 
blueberry and acai um, vitamin zero water. This is the Kirkland brand. We love it. It's our favorite. Go get you some. And that's it. I'm watching stories on Instagram and I'm just, I just, I fed the, the doggy here. Yeah. I fed her. I fed those guys. I fed that guy. Everybody's fed. Now I'm, be oh, the kids, the kids ate. Um, now it's my turn. So I'm just sitting down, chilling. I'm going to make myself a coffee after. And I'm going to sit down and I'm watch Unpolished. It has been my newest obsession. Um, it's on TLC. And my mom and dad turned me on to it. And I'm obsessed. It is very Jersey-licious. Um, if you've ever watched that show. But it's about a nail salon. And it's uh, two sisters that own it. It's pretty much family owned. But the two sisters own it. The mother works there. The grandmother's a hairstylist there. It's funny as shit. They're from Long Island. Need I say more? It's my favorite. So I'm going to get into that. And uh, that's it. I'm, you know, just... I'll take you with me tomorrow morning in whatever I do. I wish I could take you on my walks. But it was... 28 degrees this morning when I took my walk. There's no way I would have taken you out of my pocket. It's It was that cold. So, anyway, I just want to say toodles, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Sometimes it burns. Sometimes it hurts. Will you say my name? But thinking of her. I don't want to know. Don't All right, so good morning. You've already seen my coffee, obviously. Here is little man right here. He's eating his little pellets. He's it's, not even using the ramp. He's yeah, so we have that ramp there, as you could see. And he's like, nah, I can jump up. I got this. Don't worry about it. I haven't even seen him use it yet. I uh, mean, either. You want to just take it out? You know what? That might be a better idea. I think we're going to take out that little ramp. It takes up some room in here, and he's already got... A little room like a tiny bit to be uh, walking around anyway so yeah, they'll give him more room There's all right so today we're going to be uh, eating shrimp burgers so I make them in the Nutribullet um, actually no I'm probably gonna do it in no, I'm going to do it in the blender now because now we have a blender. But I will make the actual shrimp part in the Nutribullet that we have because I just use shrimp, which I'm going to defrost. I use a little bit of, um, I, I use an egg to keep things together. I make sure, um, I put like the slightest, probably like two tablespoons of almond flour in there. And then here's the shrimp I'm using. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of an onion, uh, some garlic, lots of seasonings, and then I blend it up in a blender or a Nutribullet and get it like a pasty, you know, I form them into burgers, I throw them inside the freezer just to like flash freeze them for like a half an hour or so, and then I will put them in a pan with a little olive oil, cook them up, add some cheese afterwards. And then I'm going to throw them on a savory waffle. Which, I hate calling them chaffles. People call them chaffles. No, I call them a savory waffle. So, the savory waffle is really easy in like a food processor or in a blender. I might use a food processor. It's a little easier. Um, easier to clean. I will throw some pork rinds in there. I'll make my own. If you have porking goods already made pork rinds, then you can do that but I'm gonna make my own and then I season them up really well and then I um, add some cheese, very little cheese, and um, some egg whites so that, you know, we're trying to chill with the calories here. And then I put them in the little mini dash waffle maker and then I make the bun for the shrimp burgers. So we're gonna have that for lunch today. For dinner tonight, we're gonna have that chicken curry that I made the other day. We're gonna have that with some just plain old collie rice and a tiny small salad with that. That'll be lunch. And that's it. We have a lot of pork left over. I mean dinner. We have a lot of pork left over. So we'll probably have that. We'll make something with that. Um, 
Oh, by the way, I air fried mine and it was really good. In the microwave? I'm surprised. Oh, there you go. Um, I did take that last piece of skin, so your ass out. Well, I want to let you know, the first day I made it, you had a hell of a lot more skin than I did. That is true. You were sitting there with a plate of skin in front of you. So, because I got full quick for some reason. Fine, there is, you can't go back. I ate it. I'll puke it up for you. Actually, I might shit it out for you because it's beyond puke. All right, so I've got Melvin and Ray down there, you know, doing their little playtime. So this is the mixture that I made for the shrimp burgers. There it is right there. And that's what they look like, by the way. That's Arlo's back there. This is hers, too. So it's going to go like this. These are the savory waffles that I made to eat that with. There's another one in the little dash over there. And then I'm going to make mine, and I'll have some pickles with it. Good Wednesday morning. No coffee started today because nobody got one. Because somebody pissed me off on Instagram. Yeah, somebody, some troll, you know, people with no lives. Wanna fucking get up on here thinking they know everything about us. You might know a little bit, but you don't. What? Dana wants to go for a uh, coffee date. So I'm gonna run into Wawa for me, uh, Starbucks for her, and we're gonna have our coffee in the car. Yes. And then we're gonna come home, have breakfast or lunch or dinner, whichever one we decide. Probably just a couple of hard boiled eggs and then we'll have a big dinner. Oh, I forgot we had hard boiled oh, eggs. Oh yeah, there's mm. lots. I have a couple shirts to make, and then we're off. Hi. I don't know if you've seen my face today. Probably not. We're home. We went for a ride. We had some coffee. We stopped at the Mexican market. We got some homemade chicharrones. Arlo's eating some now. We each had about two and a half pieces. Two hard-boiled eggs because we haven't eaten yet. I'm making dinner. I'm going to be making uh, our friend Emily on here gave me a recipe out of a book that she has. Um, it is chicken cordon bleu casserole with crunchy topping. It is a low carb recipe, which is amazing. I have cubed my chicken already. Let me show you. There it is. And uh, I'm gonna proceed with the recipe. Okay, so this is what it looks like, the chicken cordon bleu casserole mixture thing. I got my cheese, there's my ham, and my diced chicken breasts are underneath there. I made the sauce that it called for. I actually doubled it because obviously I want it to be saucy and not dry. So I'm going to add this to that, mix it up, and then obviously add it to my Pyrex here. And then there's a topping that goes on top of this, which I will also put on top. It bakes in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. If it's got to go longer, I put it in there longer, but that is the base of it. This is what it looks like. Very exciting. It's going in a 350 oven for 25 minutes, and that topping will bake alongside it in that pie dish there for 20 minutes. So this is very exciting. I'm making the kids some butter noodles. That That's what they'll have with theirs. And then we are going to have some Brussels sprouts here with um, this poached butter garlic butter that Arlo made. Um, I will add it to that once I slice these up, wash them, and saute them in a pan. That'll be our dinner. That's the kids' dinner. Simple, simple dinner, even though we just ate an egg, two eggs, and we're just going to eat because it doesn't make any sense to wait until like seven o'clock and then what? We just will have a little bit, you know what I mean? Might be a good thing. So, uh, because tonight we've got butter pecan ice cream that my dad made us with the monk fruit that we bought him from Costco, the Locanto. We tasted it yesterday when he dropped it off to us and it is phenomenal. Okay, so here it is. It's really good, like really good. Not that I was surprised, but I guess I kind of was. Good morning. You seen me have my coffee this morning. This one's up. I'm making my coffee for work. She's making her coffee for work and I look like a fucking hot mess. Always. Not as bad as your hair, bitch. When are we gonna cut that fucking bush? And it's I don't I don't think I need to know that. 
Anyway, so I'm gonna go exercise. I'm waiting for her to get her ass up so I can do that. Now I'm gonna go do that. And then I'll come out and make lunch. We're making, uh, with the leftover pork from the ben mi. It's, we're gonna have that with some peppers, onions with it, cheese. I'm having spinach in mine, she'll just have cheese. And then I made uh, a Maui onion dip. Um, it's a local place that is by us and they sell dip, um, like se seasoning packets, and this is the Maui onion. I just made this. We can have that as like a little dipping sauce for our taquitos, which I will be using cut the carb with. I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July. So now, don't know where, don't know how, lately I've come to realize. Alright, so I am switching, I'm going to be switching out my candle here. I want to say, let me see, you guys know this trick, right? Because you guys have been around a long time. So you know that Arlo, we line our, um, whether it's the candle holder or if you don't have a holder, you just put foil around the actual candle itself and it'll always burn your candle evenly instead of like burning it all screwed up and lopsided. Like this one here, let me show you. See this one here? So anyway, I have, this was in my, my candle holder. I'm gonna take it out because it's very Christmassy. This is sweater weather if you can't tell. All right, Arlo's over there. I'm not going to show you her because I don't know. Her legs were open. I don't know what's going on. So I had the blue robe. We all know that. So I had to move the guinea pig. So Melvin's here. Girls are here. And little man's down there. He's on something, which is good because he's the heater is right there. So it'll keep him nice and warm. He'll get some sun down there. Plus, he's not on our table that we eat on, which... I had to move him. It just takes up some room. And then I freed up some area over here... Because eventually Arlo's going to put something here, but for now that light's going to stay there for like nighttime when, the, when they're in here, they have some light. But something will go there that has to do with like our Etsy shop. So there's that. And then I just, I had to put the boys here. Um, Melvin, not Melvin, Vinny and Polly are going to just be here. This door doesn't open. It's kind of like a for show. I don't know. That's the only door that opens, so it's not in anybody's way. This is the little playpen that I put the boys in when they're getting to know each other. So I just pick it up, put it over there in the kitchen because I don't want them pissing on my carpet. And then I put a towel under it. Um, so I did all this today because it needed to be done. So, and this is all got cleaned here because this is Rico's cage and then their food and bedding and whatnot. I do have some stuff in the garage, but I don't like to keep everything in the garage because it's freezing in there. Anyway, going to change this tablecloth in a few minutes, going to wash it. There's the dog. There is that lady right there. And now it's time to feed them their little morning salad that they eat. So I'm going to get that going. And tonight we are going to have pizzas. I am going to make the pizzas out of lupin flour because, and like some, um, maybe some almond flour. I don't know how I'm doing it, but I don't want to make a fathead dough. I don't want to eat a 500 calorie pizza. So I'm going to make pizza another way. I'm having like a meat lover's pizza. She'll be having a white pie because that's what she eats. And I'm, we're going to order the kids pizza because I need a fucking break from cooking. Listen, you should be really proud of me. I'm showing you the food before I leave the crumbs. So I made, this is from, um, oh, Suri's, what is her, her, her Instagram handle? Ah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> it's somebody on Instagram that I absolutely love. She makes a, this is a low carb, it's a yeast pizza dough. Um, I made a chili cheese hot dog pizza. Pizza. And then I made Arlo a white pie and she just wanted hot dogs on hers, so she got it. So you guys saw what we have for dinner? It is about, oh God, it's 10 to 12. We watched the, um, the current episode of uh, The Blacklist and then I came back on the computer. I put two new shirts up on the store and I tried my first hand at screen printing. You wanna see? 
All right, so I made a, a sweatshirt for um, Dana, and I made myself a shirt. Let me just show you, hold on. Oh, there we go. I run on coffee, dog hair, and curse words, as if you couldn't read, but it looks pretty freaking cool. Now, I just um, used the heat gun to, you know, kind of dry it off, and then it will, like, I guess, dry overnight, and then I got a, I got a heat set it. I've been trying to do a lot of research, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So... Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe, you know, one day of the weekend I'll uh, actually press this and uh, hopefully it'll stay and not fuck up in the wash. And then, ooh, that's going to go up soon. Actually, I did put that up, that that design. This is Dana's. She got this uh, hoodie at Walmart one time. I, was it on clearance? Yeah. There it is. It was on clearance, so um, I put the same thing on it. And I, you know, use the heat gun again just to make sure it's dry to touch. And um, got to wait for it to dry and then put it under the uh, heat press. Isn't that pretty cool? I don't know. I just like to try new things. And if they work, they work. If not, they don't. I, I don't know if I can like really thank Dana, but I commend Dana for putting up with my ideas. Whether they work or whether they don't, whether she's pissed off at me or not. I'm gonna be pissed off at you. Sometimes she gets really annoyed with me because I amass a collection. Well, that I am, yes. Then yes. But then when things work out, she's like, oh yeah. She's looking at me like she wants to kill me. On that note, have a good night. Toodles. Kidding myself. Now I know you don't love me, even though you said that you'd never leave me. Oh, but I know now I shouldn't trust a word that comes out of your mouth. I was kidding myself. Why did you have to turn into a liar? Now you're gone right away from me, leaving me on my own. Can't you see? You had my heart. Good. Saturday morning. I just made my coffee and it's so good. So, I used to use heavy cream. So here are all of the different things that I have done that I have, I have evolved from making my coffee. Oh, it's so cold. Like the leather is freezing. Um, so in the beginning of keto, I used to make my coffee with heavy whipping cream because that's like the standard thing you do when you start keto. Everything requires heavy whipping cream. And then from heavy whipping cream, I started like chilling out with the cal calories. And instead of having like a freaking 200 calorie coffee, I would then, I switched to light cream, which was half of those calories which was perfect and light cream is really good but you can't find it everywhere a lot of my followers on Instagram always tell me where do you find light cream and I tell them and they're like yeah we don't have that <laughs> so I'm sorry if that's you and then I don't know like in the past month and a half maybe two months we had bought some half and half and back 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 in the day I would have my coffee with half and half but then when I started keto and I started drinking it with cream turning to half and half was like it was like water it didn't even add that creaminess that I like but since I've been half and heavy cream light cream and now I'm drinking it with half and half like I've gradually brought myself to this point and now I like it with half and half and I also add a little bit of sugar-free um like coffee meat. I only add two tablespoons, but I like, like that's dirty keto. But for the most part, I'm eating super clean. So that little bit of dirty keto, I'm not gonna freaking, I'm not gonna take it away. But like I said, it's sugar-free. Um, there are some questionable ingredients in there, but it's all good. Not everybody can be great. 
Uh, but I do like it with half and half. So now my coffee is a hell of a lot less calories than it ever, ever was. And I actually enjoy it. And I could have it a couple of times a day without having like 600 calories in coffee. And then my meals, I would have to chill out with what I eat because my calories would be through the roof. So, and I've been looking more about, like I've been looking, looking I've been looking more with calories um, than I ever had in the beginning in the beginning of keto I kept my carbs to where they needed to be at 20 net and I didn't care about calories and I lost a lot of weight and it's because I was eating so bad before that because I made such a drastic change that calories didn't matter it was what I was eating that mattered and it took a lot of weight off me almost 70 pounds and I've managed to keep all of that weight off throughout all of these years, which is amazing. But now I'm more into, I want strength training incorporated into my exercise. I was gonna take a walk today, but it's fucking six degrees out. I am not walking in six degree weather. I don't care how fucking sunny it is. So I'm probably gonna do a stepper cardio today because I wanna incorporate cardio and weight training so I'm gonna do some like stepper workouts with my stepper because that should be burning lots of calories. And then I'm gonna do a weight training um, session using the Epic workouts on YouTube. I'm on Epic one, I wanna say I'm on day 10, I think. I'll show you later, but that's what I'm gonna do today. Yesterday was a full rest day, I did not do shit. Well, I did things, but no exercise. So I'm gonna drink my coffee. And myself and Arlo, we have to go to Target. We gotta get a couple of things that we are running out of. Cream cheese, butter, coffee. And there are these blue blocker glasses that I wanna get from there because I spent a lot of time on the phone, on the computer, and she spends a lot of time on the computer as well, so I think I'm gonna get her a pair. And then we're gonna come home and we're gonna have lunch. And then she has work. Today, tomorrow, and Monday. And then she's off Tuesday and Wednesday, so. Praise the Lord. Anyway, I just seen my neighbor with her puppy. So cute. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later on. I'm gonna drink my coffee. It's a little after 10. I know, I'm awake. I'm dressed. It's not so that early. That. You act like it's seven o'clock in the morning. Well, they already seen my face today. Well, it's cold. But your face is nice right now. That is true. They've seen it when it wasn't so nice. Uh -huh. Everyone's seen it when it's not so nice. We gotta go to Target. Have to get a couple things. And um, on the way back, I'm gonna get myself a coffee because I haven't had one yet. Yep. All right, we're back from Target. I'm gonna show you what we got. It's really small, but I'm gonna show you. Um, so we got some clippers because we just give ourselves haircuts now. I'm not trying to go to the beauty salon. That's just me. You go, that's cool. But we don't. And this is cheaper. And I've, I've, I think I've, I'm getting better at it. Uh, I mean, I think so. I don't know. Um, these are blue blocker glasses. They're not prescription, but they are blue blocker glasses. I got them from like that bullseye spot, dollar spot, whatever. These were three. And then the wild and fable kind were 10. So I'm hoping Arlo likes these because she's on the computer a lot. And these are more like her style. And I like these. So... We got those, some cream cheese, we got butter. I got a little thing of light cream cheese, it was $1.59. Just because sometimes I like to eat like peppers with cream cheese and I just, I don't wanna use the full fat. I'm trying to save on calories, so I'll use a little bit of that. The shredded lettuce is gonna be for lunch today, it was $1.49, I got it for 49 cents because it was a dollar off. Um, this is the only deodorant that works for me, the clinical strength, so that's that. And then Arlo got the men's uh, Dove Clean Comfort, yada, yada, whatever. You get it. it. It's pretty much like comparable to this one. It's just the Dove brand. Um, we found this Meyer Lemon Too Good. Never had this uh, flavor. So we seen it. We got it. We don't really buy Too Good too often anymore because sometimes we just forget about it. It goes bad and it's a waste of money. So I just got a four pack. That was it. This is for the guinea pigs. Got milk for the kids, bunch of uh, just chips, like the Target brand chips, the Ripple 
um, cheddar and sour cream. Yeah, some goldfish and then sweet potato crinkle cut for Austin. These are for the dog. Um, I, I can barely find these, but when I get them, like when I see them, I need to pick them up because uh, it's like they love them. I'm sure it tastes just like a fucking Chips Ahoy to them. Uh, sour cream, two big things of those. The Chobani flips were 10 for 10, so I got 10 of those for, not us, obviously, for the kids. Half a gallon of half and half. Uh, some flossers, one for the car, one for in here. A bunch of paper plates, and I believe that's all. That's all, folks. That's it. And I got a coffee from Starbucks. Arlo actually got uh, a coffee from Wawa. So that concludes this haul. So Arlo's going to put this footage on the camera. On the camera? On the computer. And then she'll give the camera back to me and I'll continue vlogging. But you won't see that part until next week. Anyway, so here's my dear. Oh, the battery's blinking. That just says I'm using this too much.